I'd like to open the meeting of the Plessy Board of Mayor and Alderman regular meeting, Tuesday, April the 6th, 2021, 6 p.m. Roll call, please, Sharon. Here. Here. And the next thing on the agenda is a prayer by Alderman Richard Bowman and immediately following Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Next thing on the agenda, citizens' comments. If you have a comment, come to the podium and give your name, address, and phone number. If not, we'll move to discussion and action. Uh, James Wilson with one of the pages is supposed to be here, but I see he's not, so we'll move on. Discussion and action on minutes. Regular meeting minutes of March the 2nd, 2021. Do you have do you have a motion? Make a motion approved. No, Take a vote, Sharon, please. is a special call meeting minutes of March the 23rd, 2021. Motion, please. Take a vote, please. Yes. Yes. And the last minute is special call meeting minutes of March the 30th, 2021. Okay, take a vote, please. had some diagrams for the lady from um, uh, Play World in Frank, Franklin, Tennessee. She came up and she got some more uh, drawings and she's going to get those back to us so that we can see them. Okay, we a report from the city manager. But Mr. Fry had that last shot and he's sick, so he will not be here. Yes. Wilson with Madeline and Craig. We'll let him talk to us. That's fine.
you know, my thing is it's all the way to final completion, all the way up to the third. Then with the seventh, and we, we keep going farther and farther, and if we run into bad weather, then we face the bat too. Uh, a 22 C meant this way past top years. I don't know. It's up to the board members to uh, to make a decision on it. But I hope you take into consideration how long we've been dealing dealing with this situation. Tell you when you're told one thing one minute and you're all set and ready to go, and then the next thing you know, it's like nobody even thought anything about it. And I just don't know that Thomas is as concerned about the city of Love City as he should be. I would think that you need to come before the whole board with you. Because the whole board needs to know what we're discussing. so much with everybody's top priority. And we keep building up month after month after month. And it keeps going and going and going. And like I said, this is the boy's decision. But we need to, we need to think about this whole situation. Is it, is it going to happen? I mean, I'm about to the point that I'd want them to sign in blood before I would believe it. So, and that doesn't sound very good, but but it's the truth. Well, if we do read it, if we do get another beer, it's going to be just as long if we wait on top. Is that right, Kate? But are we sure that it's going to do that? I mean, we can say that, but you haven't gotten with the other contractors and, and them did because it might be somebody out there that, you know, that doesn't
people are getting impatient about that. They always been patient, ain't promising this stuff and promising this stuff so long and and letting things take more and more and more time and actually it probably should have been already finished. It should have been finished. And here we we've got a we got the garage pump station out there and I tell you we they I mean what are we gonna do if if uh, if something happens there. David was like, it was like Thomas M was running from us. I mean, from all you and I both went through, all the calls and everything. It's like 
and nobody really cared about the city of Bluff City. All they cared about was the other big dog. And then they said we wasn't getting the engineering stuff on time and, and stuff. And then when you meet with them, you met, we met with Sam down in your office. And Sharon and I and Alan, and we all thought we was ready to go. We just said, and then I forget how many weeks it was. And then it's like everything changed. Nothing to to even think about the work that the city, the projects that was in Bluff City. So I, I mean, I'm not against the board agreeing to give him that much time, but we need to make him know that this 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 is getting rough. I mean, this is bad, and I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you evidently must feel like that things are going to be different. I never really thought just sending an email and that, I always felt like you need to go to the office and they need to look you in the face and they need to tell you this exactly what's going to happen, not just beat around the bush or anything. Stand behind. Yes, definitely. over Lewis. I mean, it's, it's going to take a lot. Take a vote, please. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay, Jay, do you have anything else? Do y'all have any questions? Any other questions? Okay, thank you.
We'll move down to a report from the city board of Sharon Green. Do you have it turned on? Yeah, okay. Fund balance as of February the 28th, 2021. General fund balance, $1,718,294. Sanitation fund, 30084 Police special fund, 13874 Debt service fund, 152,104. Pension fund, 3,094. Water sewer fund, 721,150. Total fund balance, 2,638,600. Do we have a motion to approve? Take a vote, please. Alderman Bulls? Yes. Austin Harrington? Yes. Alderman Bowles? Yes. have a public hearing on ordinance number 2021-002 an ordinance to amend ordinance number 2020-004 known as the appropriation ordinance for the fiscal year ending june the 30th 2021 whereas the board of mayor and alderman deem it necessary to purchase 87 <coughs> badger water meters for the health safety and welfare of the citizens of the town of bluff city and whereas the contract price for the water meters is $17,465.34. And whereas the Board of Mayor and Alderman wish to pay cash for this equipment, be it therefore ordained by the Board of Mayor and Alderman of the Town of Bluff City, Tennessee. The ordinance number 2020-004 as the line item 413 water slash sewer fund be amended. 413 water sewer fund, one million thirty three hundred eighty thousand thirty four cents. This ordinance shall take effect from and after its final passage. The public welfare requirement. So we'll open the public hearing. Does anyone have anyone have any comments to make? If no one does, do we have a <coughs> um, second? Take a vote, please. Alderman Walls? Yes. Vice Mayor Harrington? Yes. Alderman Bowles? Yes. Okay. We'll move on, on public hearing on ordinance number 2020-003, an ordinance to amend ordinance 2020-004, known as the appropriation ordinance for the fiscal year ending June the 30th, 2021. Or is the Board of Mayor and Alvin Dean is necessary to purchase a 2005 Freightliner M2 pump truck for the health, safety, and welfare of the citizens of the town of Bluff City, Tennessee? And whereas the contract price for the pump truck is $33,231.18, and whereas the Board of Mayor and Alvin wish to pay cash for this equipment, be it therefore ordained by the Board of Mayor and Alvin of the town of Bluff City, Tennessee? that the ordinance number 2020-004 as to the line item 413 water slash sewer fund be amended. 4-3 water sewer fund, $1,063,611.52. This ordinance shall take effect from and out this final pass of public welfare. So if anyone have any questions they like to know. If not, uh, does someone have a motion? A second? Mayor, I make a motion to approve. Okay. Take a vote. 
Alderman Walls. Yes. Vice Mayor Harrington. Yes. Alderman Bowles. Yes. And then on ordinance number 2021-004, um, <clears throat> I hope that each one of you had an opportunity to read this. And uh, so it's an uh, ordinance to establish an uh, an updated occupational safety and health program plan, uh, devise rules and regulations, and to provide for a safety director and the implementation of such program. And we have to um, we have to revise this program every six years. So, do we have a motion um, to approve? I have a second. I sure. Take the vote. Next thing on the agenda is um, a contract with Centas for rental of uniforms and rags for workers. <coughs> uh, Sharon, please. Our uh, contract with Centas ended March 31st. We've been working on this to get back here for and we had sent a letter in stating that we wouldn't be renewing it. It was costing us $13,580 a year. So they kept coming back and coming back to contact us that they would work with us, see what they could come up with. So they came up with total of to us as a reduction of $5,494 compared to the $13,000. It's going to give us a savings of $8,092. Big time for that. <laughs> Do we have a motion to approve? Take a vote, please. Alvin Bull. Yes. Yes. Okay, next on next thing on the agenda is comments from the board members. Uh, Alderman Woman Carol Key is absent. Alderman Jeff Rawls. I'll let the chief have a comment after we finish. Um, Vice Mayor Ray Hanson.
all the miniature clothes. I'm pretty sure everybody coming out. I hope I assume we can get back to normal. Get us back there and see that group where we can have more place for them to see it. Speaking of the buds, I hope Kathy could get them. And I think old House Crawford could get rats later. Maybe they'll come down and do that and get them to do it. Anyway, I just uh, say we're kind of moving along, but I'd like to say all of us have been frustrated over this. And here's your last week, you've heard more about it then. But, uh, but I appreciate everybody coming out and burn with us. We are trying. Thank you. Oh, Chief, ready to feel
an excavator. Put your hand y'all ready. Put your hand y'all ready. I saw that. I do appreciate it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
check for some help through the COVID stuff. So Bluff City Fire Department got uh, a check for 2500 Rescue Squad got a check for 2500 That was with the help of Commissioner King and uh, Crosswhite and uh, all the other folks at this commission. It passed unanimous. We was happy to do that. Another thing we're working on, uh, a bunch of time, we put in a 5% uh, a increase this year for the fire departments, rescue squads. We hope that moves on up and, uh, and goes forward for, for everybody. Uh, our, our volunteer fire departments and our volunteer rescue squads, you know, anytime you put yourself in danger and you're a volunteer and you don't get paid for it, that says a lot. And we, we, we want to say we appreciate all you guys do and, and the fire department too. Um, How much did we get for the boy walking in the pavilion and for um, helping us with the swings and stuff? We'll get to that. Okay, I just want, <laughs> didn't want you to forget. That red outfit you got on got you fired up tonight, ain't you? <laughs> uh, some other things that we're working on, the, the, of course, the jail. The jail passed the resolution for the jail, $80 million, which was a 12-cent tax increase for the county residents. I'm proud to say I didn't vote for that. I felt like it was the wrong time to do that. We're going through a pandemic. Uh, people just want to have a hard time uh, uh, with, with water bills and electric bills and the food. And I think we've, uh, I don't think we're out of the woods on all that yet. I just couldn't, I couldn't put the taxpayers of Sullivan County in that situation, but it did pass. And uh, that $8 million, like I said, will result in a 12-cent tax increase, and it will go on effect this year. Uh, also, um, the reappraisals this year, so uh, the reappraisals probably will be up some. Uh, I, I can't answer, uh, I did talk to Miss uh, Whitaker there the other day about that. She informed me that it would be probably right around the 1st of May uh, before we get any numbers on that. that the I hope it does. But I'm afraid that with some of the other things that's going on, uh, uh, I think I think the mayor will probably be asking for more, just to be honest. Yeah, and uh, is part of the the school is that going to be part of the jail? No, way. we had talked about Blountville Elementary and Blountville Middle yeah. will be moving, mm -hmm. and where they're putting the jail at this time in behind the old jail. It's going to cost the county about a million or a million and a half dollars to get started to even build the construction site for the jail. So there was another commissioner recommended that we look at that Blockville site. It's 40 acres. It would be perfect for the jail. It's already level. It's already got utilities. Uh, had future expansion. Uh, and we've talked about moving Bristol Court and Kingsport Court to Blockville. That would save us about... Uh, Probably about three to five thousand dollars a week just transport prisoners. Mm. So that would be a big plus if we could do that. But where they're building the jail out now is in behind the old jail. It's uh, it's going to be in a rough area. I didn't support putting it back there either. But uh, at that time we didn't have much of a choice. Um, last let's see, last month, the county commission passed a resolution to uh, hire a uh, project manager for the jail. I mean, it was $747,000. It's a firm out of Kentucky. They'll be coming in to oversee the jail. Um, be moving forward toward the end of the year. I think all the plans and all that will be uh, presented and probably move forward toward the end of the year right at the first year. Um, did do a 5% pay increase for uh, EMS employees. Uh, county Commission supported that wholly. We had uh, EMS employees had been there several years, making 10, 35 an hour. And we were losing a lot of EMS employees to Bristol and Kingsport and surrounding areas. Uh, we were training them, getting them on the job, and being Kingsport and Bristol. And, and I'm, I'm not regretting them. I'm not an in county competitor stuff, but the EMS employees got a 5% raise. Hopefully, during this budget period, uh, we can do a 5% raise for the county employees, and I think they're proposing another 5% for the EMS, which they had lost 10%. So that would be a plus. Uh, those folks uh, do a great job, and uh, you know, if, uh, if we call them, we want them to come, and we want certified, and we want uh, well-trained people to come and, uh, and, uh, and 
attend to us. I do have some good uh, good news in tax revenue for the county. Uh, we're up about 6.7% growth so far this year, which is a growth of about 2634000 And uh, maybe that'll help us with some of that tax revenue this year. Outside in the county, outside the cities, uh, we're up about 16%. So we can thank uh, Dollar General and some of those other stores out in the county for all their support on that. Uh, I think uh, total about five million twenty-six thousand compared to four million three thirty-one, and that's of March of uh, twenty twenty to this year. So uh, uh, we're looking at that, and like you said, uh, last night maybe we can sit down and, and hack this budget out, and, and I, I won't support another tax increase on top of that twelve for the for the people of the county. In my opinion, if you don't want to be in jail, you don't need to break the law. And uh, we went from 1,094 uh, inmates down to 799. That's what we're a little over 700 right now. That's what we're at. Uh, we did approve a, a free trial or a release program where the inmates are wearing a uh, an ankle monitor, uh, letting them out. It's cost of about $14 a week to them. But I think they'd rather be out and sitting in there and that. Revenue is going back into the sheriff's department, and it's being split with the uh, monitoring company that's helping with us. So that's going to be a plus. Uh, looks like Love City in, uh, in, in collections is uh, is doing good with this tax. Um, in some cases, contributed about eighty-eight thousand of the five point two million so far, and uh, Love City's done fifty-five thousand two hundred thirty-four. So it's good for that. And that's going to the schools. It's going to the uh, to the uh, general fund to help us uh, hopefully help taxes down. Um, I do have some more good news for you. Uh, if everyone is familiar with uh, Chapter 39, the veterans uh, group up on Cardenhauer, if you go up Cardenhauer, they're on the left that serves the veterans and gets them signed up for benefits and all that. They're moving to Bluff City. And uh, they're, they're there. And that's going to be good for you guys. You know, traffic coming in, folks coming in, getting signed up, maybe spend a little money here, so that's good to say. Oh, and uh, it is, uh, we're happy to see that. Um, the mayor was asking about the, the budget. Um, we did have budget meetings a couple weeks ago. We had a budget meeting on Monday and Tuesday. I understand you had a emergency in the family or something. You didn't yeah. get to attend. Damn. Yeah. Uh, and we we went ahead and had another meeting the next week for you to attend on Monday and Tuesday. But I, don't think uh, you made I that. didn't know about that one. I don't think you made. We had a special <coughs> meeting the next week on Monday and Tuesday <coughs> for that purpose. Okay. But anyway, I understand. But I did send in the send in the form. That was the Monday, I think, you, mm -hmm. the first one we had. Yeah. But uh, I understand you're asking for seventy five hundred this year for the boardwalk. Is that correct? I'm really asking for ten. Really for 10, okay. Well, yeah. Talk what we want to do, if possible, of course, I want, I want to shake my fist at 7,500. Uh, we're trying to have some swings and a merry-go-round and some seats down at the boardwalk for the children. I thought we did that last year. No, we we um, you know completed. Um, you know, redoing the boardwalk bottom sides and mm -hmm. putting all new lights down there and um, fix the roof, and we did everything, well, and that was wonderful because they helped us. You remember last year, I mm -hmm. took your money out, and you called me, and I got in touch with Commissioner Broughton, who's the chairman of the executive committee, and they reduced it 2%, which was, I think, down about 46, 47. Yeah, um, we used all that for upkeep, you and, know, uh, down there. Got in touch with Larry Bailey, and we got that put back in there. Well, we didn't know that it was back in there. The only thing I talked to... Um, you should have got the check last year for 4700 No, well, they haven't given us the check for this, for no, you last year. No, we do the... Yeah, we haven't got the check yet. Okay. But we usually got, we usually receive five, mm -hmm. and well, it they was cut. everybody's budget last year two percent. They even took money from the birthplace of country music, 
they took money from every other nonprofit. It was it was a two percent across the, across the board. Yeah. And they deducted Blood Cities altogether. They took it completely away from the city of Blood City. But when know. you know you called and yeah. we went back to the drawing board and we got that put back in there with the help of, of some of the other commissioners. Right, and I really appreciate it. And, uh, but it's my understanding that you had got the swings and the merry-go-round and all that stuff last year. I think that's what you're No, what we, what we were doing, we was trying to, the boards and stuff down at the boardwalk, they were in bad shapes, the, you know, the sides and everything was in bad shape. And we replaced just about all those boards on the bottom and top, um, stained everything, worked on the roofs put uh, new trash cans down there and uh, new, um, you know, we did change the, all the lights to LED lights. Where are you planning and, on putting these swing sets in there? Uh, right in front of the caboose. Right there in front of the caboose. And this lady want? from Franklin, Tennessee, uh, she came up and she drew up something for us last year. But she came up, um, she came up last Thursday and, uh, She's redrawing some things because there's some there's some little little seats for the kids. Have you seen those little seats that the kids can sit in? And it's like they won't fall out because they bottom their bottoms go in the bottom of it. And um, a merry-go-round. What kind of cops are we looking at? For something like that? Well, she's re she's rebidding it. What um, did you have on it previous year? Um, let's see. What did we have on it? Jim, what do we have? She never did a photo prior. She never did oh, yeah, that's right. on it. Yeah, she did the drawings, but yes, she didn't give us a price because it didn't look like we were going to get it. So nothing's moved over. Yeah, except she's redoing that. And um, we actually, the board has voted to give us some. So um, we, did, we did support putting the 2% back in. Which well, we appreciate we that. Back up to 5000 mm -hmm. We I appreciate that. When I was the news of Chairman of the executive, he said, from what I understood, he thought that you'd put in seventy five hundred, so you put in ten. Put in ten, okay. but I won't knock seventy five hundred. Okay. I'll be happy. All right. Okay. Let's make you happier. Get the ten. <laughs> <laughs> get that baby some swings now. Yeah, we don't want them to fall through, do we? No. Uh, well, uh, you know the lake's coming back up. I've been uh, running uh, five years for all of us. Oh, it would definitely be a plus. The liquor by the drink passed. That's done. Uh, any restaurant can apply for that now if they want to serve uh, liquor by the drink or wine. Uh, yeah. You can process through the state on that. So, you know, that's a done deal now. So, any restaurant, if partners or anybody in that area wants to proceed with that, it's. it's partners it's has the beer. They don't seem to be interested in the alcohol. They like the idea of the beer. But I think we've got some people that are interested, and uh, but we have to get all the um, everything set up. So and Mr. Fry is sick, so he can't be here tonight, or he would have discussed some of the. I think you've got a great interest in some folks want to do some liquor stores here in town or something, don't you? Yeah. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. yes. Just not near the churches. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Is there any proposed sites that uh, that they've looked at? Well. He wanted to wait until after our planning and zoning meeting because he has some uh, things that he needs to discuss that uh, planning and zoning needs to vote on. So, okay. so it should be, if, unless he gets sicker, uh, it should be our planning and zoning meetings next Tuesday. Well, myself as a commissioner and Commissioner King, I can't speak for him, but I'll speak for myself. Um, we want to help. We help the mayor and help the auditor. We're helping the people of Bluff City, and that's yes. what we're all here for. Right. And we all need to work together on this. And, and I do want to put out, too, stay on top of the elementary school. Keep it on your mind. We don't want the elementary school to leave Bluff City. No. And that's still in the talks. Well, we kept thinking that the city was going to We kept thinking that the city was going to be able to, to get that other school, but... Well, we we were disappointed. Very good revenue stream for yeah. Bluff City, I think. But, but we were really disappointed though, because we need space. Mm -hmm. We don't have any storage space or anything. We just we need space. 
at the elementary school would revert back to the free basin, but the helicopter would The helicopter, I bet. I think they have a meeting room there. Uh, I think the land does. I think there's a lot of things there that will have to be worked out. See, there's a similar situation in what? We did vote on, and we have uh, in the county uh, law a, a private act now with, with the Finance Committee. And in this Finance Committee that we worked on uh, for county finances and for the school department. The school department will be moving over underneath Larry Bailey in the council and budgets. Uh, be a more accountability. And in that private act, we put in there where any county school property or buildings reverts back to the decision of the county commission. Sounds good. So, uh, you know, we can uh, we can kind of maybe control the destiny of, uh, of, of some of those problems. Well, that's it. The county taxpayers pay for those buildings, yes. pay for that property, just like we paid for the ones that they built. And for us to turn around and just hand it to the school board and for them to sell it and get the revenue for it and do what they want to, I, I think it needs to be put back into the general fund to help with the cost of the yeah. uh, We'll give you an update. I know you guys have heard a lot about the road going into the high school. Um, that was about a uh, $6 million project. It went down the side of, of Old Sam's Wholesale, down around by Waste Management, turned back to the right, hairpin turn, turned back to the left. Uh, and that's, that's where that road was going to go and go into the high school. It was, it was going to be $6 million for about 1,500 foot of road. And at one time, it was $4.2 million for 3,700 foot of road. So we went over and looked at it. And uh, the school department owns the backside of the property of the high school that joins down on the Henry Hart Road. And what we've done, uh, we're going to use it as an excess road. All the kids, the buses can come in, go around the school, let the kids out, and the traffic flow will go right back into Henry Hart and come right back out. The highway department's done a tremendous job over so far of widening the road and putting up guardrail and and, uh, and doing some improvements there. We're also going to do a turning lane in front of the high school going in. Uh, that's that's in the works with the highway department. Uh, Commissioner Murray's done a good job for, for the people up there and for the citizens of the county. Uh, give you an update on the middle school, working on the lights up there. We passed a, a resolution to them spend some money to put the lights up, <coughs> do some things up there for, for safety. But, uh, Sake, I'd, I'd like to see a fence put up there for long. For sake, yeah. just, uh, that's just some things that's going on, and uh, we appreciate all the support. And, you know, County Commission will be meeting this Thursday night for a workshop. And we'll be meeting next Thursday night for the annual uh, uh, meeting. So we'd like to see everybody there. That's right, I mean. We'd like to see the citizens there. <coughs> uh, there is a sign up sheet. You can uh, sign up, they'll call you. And Come in and speak. Hopefully, we can get back to normal next month and uh, get everything back. I normal. would like to mention one other thing to you. Um, the good thing about the Boyd Walk, and before we had this virus, COVID 19, going on, we had a, quite a few people that were in wheelchairs. They like to come and fish off of the Boyd Walk. Mm -hmm. And then we had several children that they like to come down there and fish off the boardwalk. And then we don't turn anybody away um, as far as, you know, letting them use that. We don't charge them anything. Mm -hmm. But the only thing right now with the COVID-19, they have to do this based, based on um, they're not going to get a whole bunch of people to stay six feet apart. So they have to do it uh, uh, for of their own benefit. Mm -hmm. And... We, the city's not responsible, but they still can use it. But hopefully with the mask and everything, we'll get where we can get straightened back out. I hope we all can. With well, this new money that you're proposing for the board of uh, are you just going to use that money for continued improvements on it? Is that what you are? We need swings and stuff down there. We don't have anything for the children. $10,000 from swings? Listen, you don't know what swings cost. Swings are really expensive. And then some little some little chairs and, and 
um, two or three benches that would be there and a merry-go-round. You know, the old-fashioned merry-go-round where they just get on that and push it. Trying to get ahead of the mic. Okay. Yeah. You said it will start, you know, come out a little bit more to use things, potentially. Yeah. Any and since questions? that property at the back of um, at the back of the mill there belongs to the city, then we want to put some picnic tables out there and some benches, you know, for the uh, Bluff City Mill. Mm -hmm. Was it right there in that, uh, right there? At one time, that's where you all had proposed to put a Veterans Memorial. Uh -huh. Yeah, but now we have one, so. It's good to hear that's moving on. Yeah, and we're really happy. Chris has done a lot of good stuff for Bluff City. Proud yeah. Of it. And, yeah. and uh, Jeff did it too. We appreciate him. Yeah. I deserve that credit. Well, you worked with, uh, with Chris on that. And, you know, he's got, he bought a host of Valley School, too. And I think he's got some good plans for that. Uh, I'm very well aware of his plans. Yeah. 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 I'm happy to hear it. But, you know, I just feel like that if we all work together, we can make our communities a lot better. And so we appreciate you. Good to hear it. And, uh, Thank you. And appreciate all of y'all helping us. Well, what did you say, Mayor? If he'll give you the money, you use it wisely, won't you? Yes, definitely. <laughs> you know I'll use it wisely. I, I don't even get a salary from being city manager from 8 o'clock in the morning to usually 6 or I know, later. I know you all got some COVID money. Could you not use another COVID money? Well, the COVID money we have, we did use it. We are thinking that we're going to get some more this time, but so far we haven't. I think he's got about 66000 that he rebuilt. That was the last time, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you already had appropriations for it? Yes. Now, now the, the, the money that's coming in from the state, Salton County is proposed to get about $31 million, But no one is, you know, everybody's saying, hold on, don't get excited. I know. Uh, wait and see what happens. And, and that $31 million, we don't know if, after we get that, we... Well, if y'all going to use it for the jail. No, divide that up. No, it's, you, it's got a list of, yeah. of uh, requirements that it's going to have to be used for. Well, we can really use it because so, we got a pump station that we need to really be working on right now. So. Well, I was listening to that earlier there. What, what's the deal with this pump station? What's, it's just an age in the lift station. Yeah. It's the lone one that hasn't been updated in the material materials that was used is basically at the point of its last one and it needs to be replaced. And the contract was approved in 10 years, 10 of last, October of last year and still had Was the grant money involved? Are y'all going to lose any grant money on this if it's not done? Well, if we don't, if we don't get it taken care of. How much was the grant money? It was almost a million. What's the total project? Uh, 500 and some. Yeah, something like okay. that. What's the problem that they can't give you all the uh, March the 20th or something like that? In the middle of March, uh, Thomas mm -hmm. came back to Matter and Craig and said that uh, they couldn't get to us till the end of to fall or middle fall yeah. or something like that. And here we're like holding the bag and we've got to get this done. Over and USA, USDA yeah, is not happy. No. Have you talked to them about the um, extension on the ground? Yeah, I've already sent a letter and everything. That's what they alluded to in here with that uh, Lewis Trivet is basically saying that we need to stay with Thomas or, you know, we're going to have to go back through the whole process again with all that crap. Well, Thomas has done a good job on the lift stations for the school up there. They've done a good they job. They've done a great job. You know, they run a four-inch line, 15,000 feet for a sewer system, which we proposed a six-inch line to open that whole area up for growth and right. future development. But uh, they, backtracked. they backtracked, and now it's got a four-inch line in. So the growth in that area is, is, is done. It's oh, four, they just have four inch in it? Yeah. They're running yeah. a four inch sewer line, 15,000 feet for the high school. We put a, we put a resolution in to split the cost and give them some money and upgrade it to a six inch line and, a, and was going to hook East, uh, East High School onto it and grab the flow back down, take them off the pumps to the uh, station that they've got there so that they maintain their sales. Go all the way back, and uh, uh, I went up to there one day and they were putting in a four inch line. Oh, gosh. 
And the school system, the Sullivan County School System, is responsible for that line until another major uh, development or something hooks onto it. And there's two pump stations involved there. There's one pump station at the. At and you've got to have a six inch line for fire. fire. So we're talking about sewer. And oh, you're talking about sewer, yeah. okay. Yeah. So they're responsible for everything. And we're paying the city of Bristol. And Bristol won't take the, the, the project over until another. Uh, if the Survey Mart or, or something familiar like that hooks on to it. Was they supposed to put an 8 inch line in? Or we're going to put a 6 inch in. You're going to just put a 6. And we're going to put an 8 inch line there at the, at the high school to grab the club back down oh. and then pump it up. And like I said, it would open up that whole area there for, for development. Well, why didn't they do that? Why didn't they put the six inches? My question. Uh, Who voted not to? The school board. The school board chairman named Michael Hughes. Yep. He was well, the one who did it himself. Mm -hmm. Is he still the school board chairman? Uh, he's, uh, right. he's on the board now. But uh, we, uh, we worked it out the city of Bristol. Uh, we had it all worked out to where they were going to we yeah. all going to work together on it. So now it's a, it's a pressurized line, and now if you want to hook on to it, if you're a homeowner in that area, you're going to have to have a pump and a, a small yeah. station to pump into it to, uh, to hook on. Uh, I will say Tom's done a good job on that. Fire, and I don't understand why they're giving you that. I don't know if it's a matter of where it's such a small project for them, because, you know, summer's coming along, and, you know, they're going to do these 10, 20 million dollar projects, and mm -hmm. 500 some thousand dollar project payments for them. You know what I mean? But who's yeah. next in line besides that? Well, you know, we had three we had three people that bid on it, but um, you know, we'd have to go back and start all over again with the bid if we don't take Thomas. But um, you know, they I meant Now we'll tell you I don't know when that bid was finalized. Mm -hmm. The cost of raw material and the cost of uh, things right now, our business that, that we do, uh, just three months, well, not three months ago, a month and a half ago, uh, well, Casey and we were selling for $3.68 a foot, and today it's $7 a foot. Yeah. So if you've already got that bid, and I would make, and that might be a problem too, you know, you might, you, know, you might want to say, hey, you bid this, and we're ready to go. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you very you. much. Okay. Do y'all have any old business you want to bring up? You have any old business you want to bring up? Okay, you have anything new? Stray cats. Stray cats and, and birds. <laughs> okay, do I have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. I got one question. Yes. Okay. Amen. Uh, are the pavilion uh, bathrooms? No, you need to open them. Open them? Mm -hmm. No, please do. It's better to see those people run down there and run back. Right? <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, they walk down there, all right, in there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Who made the motion? You? Who second? Take a vote, please, Sharon. Alderman Boyle. Thank all of y'all for coming yes. out. Vice Mayor Harrington. Yes. Alderman Bowen. Yes. Thank you.